I have not tried a float like a butterfly nebula. Yep. And so I was kind of thinking that route. We go like a, a floats confused nebula already really likes confuse. And so I'm thinking if we can just kind of lean into that and try try a float deck out and see how that works. That's kind of what I was thinking. Justice is super good against the scenario too. That's true. That's true. Yeah, because this is that weird wonky scenario where actually thwarting it down the main scheme rather than trying to uh let it com complete she almost has no thwart in her kit this is a thwarting scenario that's true well she has a two thwart i mean like for for solo for solo she has a two thwart and then her lethal intent cutthroat ambition is three but yeah no i totally agree i totally agree can you name your top three heroes from champions and favorite aspects uh so top three heroes miss marvel domino Quicksilver is kind of where I've been historically. I've been really enjoying Iceman though. Um I think I think I would stick with those three. Domino, Miss Marvel, and Quicksilver. Uh favorite aspect is protection. Okay. Nightcrawler is coming out September 20th, 2024. I could see honestly a Gen Con announcement then. That may be a little because that would be August, September, October, November. So it would be four months out still. I could see a Gen Con announcement for the last one. So a month and a half away. That's actually not that far away. So if you can get five extra damage from float in one turn from all from all sources, you'll have earned my resub. That's my chance. Five extra damage from float like a butterfly in one turn. Alrighty. Easy peasy. From all sources. Easy peasy. Challenge accepted. We're doing justice. Let's build a deck. <laughs> Alrighty. So, for the resub, let's go float like a butterfly. So, float like a butterfly. When a character you control attacks a confused... <coughs> sorry. Attacks a confused enemy, increase the amount of damage that attack deals by one. We're also going to grab our doubles. That's going to just start us out. Yeah, like two weeks after Jubilee, we should know about the last hero. Oh, yeah, Jubilee, Jubilee. Because Jubilee, Jubilee is coming out. Is she coming out this month? I really should know this. War Machine and Float like a shit. Oh, yeah. War Machine and Float is a bananas deck. I love it so much. July. Okay, cool. Thanks, villain. Next next month, yeah. The little stickers. So whenever I take a card out of the binder, I have one copy of each card. I put a sticker on that card so that I can know that it goes back in my binder. Mid-July. Mid-July. Okay. Well, that would be nice because I got travel at the beginning and end of July. And so I think mid-July should line up nicely for us. Okay, let's grab poor Professor X. Professor X is the source of Confuse. We need a couple more sources of Confuse. We do have... I I can never remember her technique upgrades. But we've got... Evasive Maneuvering. Which we only have one copy of that in our deck. That's another source of Confuse. We probably want a Dazzler or someone along that lines to grab a... Source of Confuse. And then we don't have any restricted cards in our kit, right? I didn't think so. So Sonic Rifle is a big thing. Last hero, are they ending the game? Last, last hero of the mutant cycle is what we're talking about, yeah. Last hero in this wave. No, they're not ending the game. As far as I know. <laughs> Upside the Head is a classic. Maybe with Eros or Wraith. Ooh, Upside the Head is a really good one, too. Think f oh, yeah, Think Fast. Think Fast is a good card. Yes, let's go. All righty, so let's grab Think Fast. Because we are Guardians. Yeah. Think Fast. Take one damage, confuse the villain. Boom. Easy peasy. And that actually is a lot easier to play and a lot easier to stomach than the Sonic Rifle, even though Sonic Rifle is a little bit more on call. We can put it on the table. 
I think the Think Fast, the Professor X's and Dazzlers. I'm thinking that we're gonna have and and her her technique. We're probably gonna have enough confused. So let's grab let's grab the last copy of Think Fast. Great call, Josh. How many sleeve cards can you squeeze into each binder pocket? I do not know. Let's see. I think the most you would ever want to do is three, right? Not three. <laughs> These are Dragon Shield, which are notoriously larger. You could get two in there. You could get two in there. Did you guys cipher? Not yet, but I will. I need to put a sticker on this or else we will lose Think Fast to the void of the box forever. Okay. We also have a Guardian package. Got two, four, six, eight, nine. Do we think we need upside the head? We have think fast. We have five. Maybe I need to sabotage this deck building to make the challenge harder. <laughs> That's mean. Um, yeah, so if we grab Cypher. After Cypher attacks and damages a confused enemy, draw a card. Love that. Try the Starler Basic Alley and Heimdall. Ugh. Why? <laughs> Chad is giving you too many good ideas. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Um Let's go Eros. Let's grab Lay the Trap. Let's go grab our basic side schemes as well. Especially the three per, just because it's they're so they're so perfect for the the technique upgrade so we'll grab a build support and a superpower training the build support could be kind of interesting i may go b cop actually b cop could be kind of an interesting target for build support we could also go hella carrier heck we could honestly go quen carrier if we wanted to um kit kit is good Kid is good. Nebula doesn't love to be readied. If if we go specialized training, it gets a little bit better. But it's it's two resources for ready. And the maximum impact that we're gonna be getting. I guess she does have the card that gives her a plus one plus one. And so Kit could get a little bit more interesting. Lay the trap has really grown on me lately. Lay, yeah, lay the trap is lay the trap is a solid, nice, like uh, game ending card. You can also just throw it out there, like because it's it's five damage in a solo game, and it's like okay, that's nice to have, but it's also like not needed, and so you can throw it out there and just kind of like be waiting for it. That'd be fine. Fan <laughs> blue lion geek up. <laughs> I have my collection in two hard shell BCW boxes. Was thinking about going the binder out. I like the binder. I really like the binder. Okay. We we'll grab the we'll grab Star Lord. I'm not grabbing Heimdall though. <laughs> I think one of the and I actually may have said this in my review of Nebula. I think one of the biggest drawbacks from Nebula is the fact that her signature ally is Gamora, which means that you can't play Gamora. <laughs> Gamora is so good. We got Rocket. I'll go Groot. Why not? We need some actual thwarting cards too. Why, Leroy? Why? Two, four, six, eight, ten. Uh, two, four, six, seven. So we got eight cards left. Feeling like, do we do we want to go? We could also go nowhere with the Guardian stuff. I don't feel like we're leaning too, too heavily into the Guardians, and so I'm not 100% sure if that's super worth it. We do increase the ally limit, but I think we're just going to be chump blocking with the allies. Throw a chance encounter into the mix with your player size. Can it help you find Star-Lord? Is Star-Lord when entering play, or is it after you play Star-Lord? It's kind of... Yeah, after Star-Lord enters play, you can't even cheat him in. <laughs> What's up, Romeo? 
it is collector two. So the the much better. I have five guardians. We got Groot, Rocket, Star Lord, Arrows. I have five with Gamora. So yeah, I mean nowhere could work. Sonic Rifle. I think I have enough confused already. Kill your heroes. I'm I'm thinking that my I'm thinking my my allies and my think fast. I think I have like six confused in a deck pass. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure that's gonna be enough. Thankfully it's collector two. Yeah, two, four, six, eight. Let's grab some uh thwarting. Just because uh It does damage if they're confused, right? Oh, Sonic Rifle? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. So Sonic Rifle does turn in... Yeah, we'll grab a Sonic Rifle. I, did, I always forget that Sonic Rifle is printed with a... Oh, yeah, you can also... Uh, <laughs> you, you can also um, deal damage with this card. Where are my Sonic Rifles? Overwatch. I'm thinking, have you got Think Fast? Yep. Yeah, we got Think Fast in there. Go Skilled Investigator. Just as we're flipping through. Let's go. We go one or two Sonic Rifles. Probably just one. I think we need to lean a little bit more into Threat Removal. You could always play Collector 1. Just put in easier mods. At, ugh. Especially with Nebula. Nebula Collector 1 is just... Mm. Oh, you're right. It doesn't work with float. I'm going to cut Sonic Rifle. That's a we it's weird that it's not an attack. I guess it makes sense because it doesn't want to, like, not let you do it if you're stunned. I think I'm going to go Heroic Intuition. We could go we could go Overwatch. I mean the 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 nice tech against the scenario is crisis averted, right? Let's grab crisis. Grab one more copy of crisis averted. We'll see what that looks. I don't think I've ever used sonic rifle for damage. <laughs> I've, I think I've done it like one or two times. It's a rifle that doesn't attack. Just like Plasma Pistol is a pistol that doesn't attack. It just damages gently. <laughs> Brains over brawn. That's a, that's a word I haven't heard in a long time. If you make a basic thwart, deal damage to an enemy equal to your hero's thwart. Mm. It's a very... Because you, you want six thwart in order for that to be efficient. That's tough. Probably more. Honestly, because... Yeah, Brains over brawn, I think, is way overcosted. I think even at one cost, it, yeah, for legal purpose, <laughs> yeah. Would would brains over bronze play if it was one cost? That's my question of the day. I think it would see more play. I don't think it would be an auto auto include at all because you still have the condition because you have to make a basic thwart. If it was a, you would have to have a four. I think at zero, it still wouldn't see at too too much play. I think if you had Brains Over Brawn, cost it at zero. It's no, it's, it's, it's a turn the tide at that point. I guess you can get up to higher thwart. At zero, it would see play, but would it be, would it be more play than like turn the tide? Two, four, six, eight, ten. We got three there. Let's write 23. It does have the conditional of you have to thwart, though. If turn the time didn't exist, all the adjusted attacks would see more. Pl <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna grab a B cop. I haven't. I haven't played around with B cop in a while. So let's. Uh, let's grab a B cop, just because it's fun. Oh, there's my brains over run.
Yes. Speaking of zero foiled, I don't even remember what foil does. A boost card is turned face up during a scheme. Cancel its boost. Potentially. Turn the tide requires reducing the threat to zero, which is trickier the hit than porting. I think I think outside of solo, yes. I think outside of solo, yes. But turn the tide doesn't require you to basic. We get that beak emoji yet? Not not quite yet. <laughs> Foiled is very underrated. You can play it in alter ego. Yeah, that is true. I'm hoping that collector never schemes. The the kind of the goal of the deck is confuse lock. So I'm hoping that that works. We go one copy of one way or another. Impede the extra resource once played would be nice. What is impede? We could go honestly, we could go with like a justice served. Go like one copy of Justice Surfed, or even like a co one copy of Ready to Rumble. MVM. I wish I had knowledge of anything like you for a champion. <laughs> oh, clobber but for thwarting. Yeah, the pop back to your hand. That's yeah. Impede. Remove three throw from the main scheme. If this is the first card you played, return this card to your hand. Three for three. I guess it's really three for two. Making an entrance. How bad do you think our health is going to feel? Could you please explain your stickies? Yeah, the sticky, st sticky, so sticker sorting. Yes. So I keep one copy of every single card in a binder so that I can flip through and just kind of see all the cards. And so it really kind of helps me with deck building. And so whenever I pull a card out, and so I have three copies of Crisis Averted, one of them has a sticker because one of them has to go back into the binder. Like this is its spot. And the sticker just reminds me to do that. And then I have all the other cards over here in the in my box sorted alphabetically. Nelson is awesome. That is all. Oh, thank you so very much, Flowers. I appreciate you. Thank you. Hey, oh, how's it going? Do we just go another B cop? No, another B cop scene is kind of. I kind of want to run the one one copy of one way or another. Yeah, let's do it. Why not? Although Overwatch is probably the more strategic pick here, we're gonna, we're gonna try the one way or another uh, route. Excellent. Okay, there we go. So Justice Nebula. I mean, what if the cop has? Call for backup. That'd be cool. You just kicked my OCD with that statement. Now I'm never going to sort my collection in alpha. Now I'm going to sort. It, it's great. It is actually great because I can just like come over here. I know where everything is. Like these are all my C cards. And so I can just go for it. I don't do like all alphabetical within the letters. So like the C's are not alphabetical, but it's pretty easy to thumb through at that point to just try and like find combat training or whatever you're looking for. Okay, so the missing Milano. Put the library labyrinth environment into play. Set the ship command modular counter set outside out of play. That's over here because I did my homework. Okay, the library labyrinth this way? Question mark. As a hero action, we can deal ourselves one face down encounter card to remove five threat from the main scheme. We can do this once per round per player. I don't, I don't love it. I don't love that. <laughs> I have my collection split up by card types per aspect. Okay, yeah, that yeah, I like that way too. Nebula starts with nine hit points. And then collector starts with ten. But collector is a little weird here because collector is a two two, but he gets plus X where X is the main scheme's current stage number. When he would be defeated, remove three threat from the main scheme and flip this card over instead. When he flips over, he cannot be defeated. When the round ends, flip this card. 
I'm trying to decide between ordering based on release dates or types. Release date would be kind of cool. Thanks. That seems very efficient. I sort my by aspect and cost, but it looks very compelling. I might have to convert. I do have a I do have a here or I do have a video on how I sort. Now that video is fairly old. I am going to be doing a redo of that video because some of my system has changed a little bit. But I, I have a video on my YouTube channel, which I see you're on YouTube. Yeah. So you can you can check that out for a little bit more detailed of a thing. But yeah, binder system is good. But mostly build your decks on CDB first, and I pull them out from your collection. Yeah, nice. I, 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 I do about half and half. Most of, mo well, all the decks, most of the decks you all see, you know, I just I do what I just did and build it, and the binder helps for that. But I'll build some decks on CDB. I've gotten better at building decks on CDB and not needing to flip through the binder. Alrighty. Missing Milano, stage 1B, starts with 7 threats. Forced to interrupt. When the last threat is removed from the scheme, advance to 2A. If this stage is completed, the players lose the game. It goes up by 1 per player. Collector starts with 10. We've got that. And we're off to the races. The way you do it on stream is definitely more engaging to the viewer. Yeah, yeah. I like building because also like I get, you know, it helps it helps me remember to think fast and stuff like that. I like being able to look back on decks I built. Yeah. I if I if I have a deck that I really like, I'll put it into CDB. We got Groot starting us out. Superpower training. Alrighty. Lay the trap. Beat cop. Cutthroat ambition. That's nice. And a lethal intent. It's actually pretty sweet. Um, so let's grab, let's keep superpower training. We don't need to lay the trap. We don't need a B cop. That's going to be our build support card. We're going to th drop a cutthroat ambition and then trigger it with lethal intent to clear superpower training. And so we should be fine there because we'll get a card draw from cutthroats, which can pay for lethal intent. We just need one for superpower. I kind of like Groot here. I think he survives an attack. I think he survives a collector attack. And if if we draw other things, we can pivot away from playing Groot. So let's keep those. Got another lethal intent. Alrighty. And then a heroic intuition. Interesting. Alright. I forgot that Nebula draws two cards after playing. That's really good. Got a BRB. Don't deal five flow damage without you. Don't worry, villain. I won't. Okay, let's use one of these lethal intents. To play a cutthroat ambition. While Nebula is in hero form, her attacks gain piercing and overkill. And then as a special, we can remove three threat from a scheme. After we play a technique upgrade, we get to draw two cards. There's Nebula's ship and Dazzler. We're actually going to use Nebula's ship to play superpower training. Because Nebula's ship is the upgrade that we're going to grab with uh, superpower training. Okay, so we're not going to get Groot out, but we are going to be able to get our Heroic Intuition out. So let's go ahead and flip up to Nebula. After your turn begins, resolve the special ability on each technique upgrade you control. This is a required effect. You have to do this. And so now let's use Dazzler to play Lethal Intent. So choose up the X techniques you control. We choose one, Cutthroat Ambition. We're going to remove three threat from this scheme. We're just going to clear. And then we're going to go find... Nebula ship and put it into play, which can generate a wild resource. Okay. We're going to use Nebula ship and Groot to play Heroic Intuition to give us a 3 4, making Brains over Brawn a incredible play. What's up, Nelson? First time catching the stream. Nebula Justice is one of your favorites. Awesome. Welcome to the stream. Happy you're here. And then we will thwart three off of here, taking us down to four. Now we could deal ourselves an encounter card. We're not going to do that. All right, let's stand up. Ugh. Nebula's very squishy. That's got to be the next deck factory. Brain I think I did it. I think we did a Brains Over Brawn deck factory. I'll have to do it again, though. Because I think, I think I did it before we did videos on it. Did videos on the deck factories. 
That'd be fun. I'm trying to get a Deck Factory video filmed before Origins, which means that we would have one probably next Monday. We'll see. Spider Woman Justice Protection repurpose. Yeah, yeah. I, I, my mind immediately went to Spider Woman as well. Sounds fun. We get five cards. Weapons Master. Undying. Unyielding Persistence. Float like a butterfly. There it is. Combat ready. And to think fast. Let's let's go. Take this to five. Collector's gonna hit us for three. We're gonna take it to the face. Four or five. That hurts. We are down to four. I was talking about doing Nebula Justice, your next multiplayer game. So this is fortuitous to get Nebula Justice. Nebula and multiplayer is really good. Hey Nelson, what box are all the player side schemes coming in? Most of the player side schemes come in the next evolution box, but the hero packs after that, you get more of the player side schemes, but you're going to get most of them in next evolution. Our encounter card is the poison. When your turn begins, place one poison counter here and take one damage for each poison counter here. Spend three resources of different types to discard this card. Well, that's got to go. Alrighty, we'll take a damage. We're down to three. I really want to play float, which we can, but that's it. All right. So first things first, Cutthroat Ambition is going to trigger. I'm going to start putting these up here so I remember. Takes this down to two. Okay. We are going to use Nebula Ship, Unyielding Persistence, and Weapons Master to get rid of the poison. Because the poison hurts. It hurts us. Nebula is your least played hero and your least played villain. That's fair. That's fair. Storm and X-23 arrived. Sweet. Storm seems generically good. Uh, so really struggling for deck ideas. Uh, do a Storm deck with multiple man. That's a really fun one. Try try building that. Because with Thunderstorm, multiple man comes out and can hit for six. Awesome. Lay the Trap came from Psylocke. Superpower training and build support came in next evolution. Yeah. Then we're going to drop Flow Like a Butterfly because that's what the deck is about. We're going to flip down. And we're going to heal for three. One, two, three. All right, let's stand up. We got Build Support. Nice. Cypher. White Stance. Another White Stance. And a Lethal Intent. All right, there we go. Oh, wait, we get six cards, though. Sounds like I need to spend money. <laughs> Oh, uh, we got Rocket. Nice. Let's go to three. White, the whitest of stances. Collector is scheming for three, six. Takes us to nine. It's not what you want to see. Encounter card is Sinister Strike. We're going to place a Pursuit counter, and then we're going to Surge. Hopefully we're not surging into a Advance. I have you now. Sasha identity and then he schemes and we're going to lose the game. Sad. All right. Well, let's try that again. <laughs> I was not expecting that, but it is collector two. So maybe I should have expected that. I don't think that there was a, there wasn't a good way out of that. Cause I think if we stayed up, we would have died. Hmm. Apparently, Think Fast was the correct play there. Probably. Probably. Yeah. GMW still taking names in 2025. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, I think yeah, I think Fast could have worked there. Um, I guess. But then, then we're now dropping Float, which is fine. But then I lose all the, on the sub from Villain Theory. Would you change your encounter card? So, yeah, that's true. That is true. Don't, don't want to forget Superpower Training. That was, that was kind of brutal. <laughs> he does have a lot of scheme. Extra activations in his kit. So we probably need to think about that as we're, as we're going through. But it's fine. It's fine. We're fine. 
All right. So collector, we're starting with six cards. We got Cipher, Crisis Averted, Dazzler, Groot, all of my allies, apparently, White Stance, and an Evasive Maneuvering. All righty. Let's use a white stance to play evasive maneuvering. We'll draw into a combat ready and a lethal intent. Let's use a combat ready to discard cards until we discard a technique upgrade. Yeah. And then we'll put it into play and resolve its special. Uh oh. What happens, Master? We're going to deal four damage to collector. One, two, three, four. Again, I'm going to put these up here in this row. Okay. We will flip up to Hero Nebula. We're going to toss the hand for Dazzler. We're going to confuse Collector. Dazzler and Nebula will take our seven down to a three. All right, let's stand up. I love Nebula, but man, I've already... Yeah, she's... She's not the strongest hero, but she's fun. There's heroic intuition. Unyielding persistence. Nice. Gamora. Ooh, a Gamora with unyielding persistence is awesome. Did you run White Fox or Digging Deep? Oh, that's good. That's a that's a really cool. No, I I didn't run that, but I really like that idea. That's sweet. How are the by the same token threat tokens done? One, two, three, four, five, ten. Yes, and then there's a twenty fifty. So there's a twenty and fifty. Build support, nice, and a think fast. We got all of the stunning confused. White Fox and One Digging Deep is basically odd includes. That I really like that idea. That's really cool. I do like Signature Ally Gamora. I wish she was when she entered play. I I do uh, yeah. That that's my only critique with uh go Ally Gamora. Let's go to four. But Leroy, I have just gotten the three four tokens. I really like them. I really like the three four. I played with someone who had them. At Con of Heroes, and I, I'm a big fan of, of them. Collector is going to attack. We're going to toss Dazzler in front of this attack. So it's going to be a 3 4. Of course, it's only a 1 boost icon now. There goes Dazzler. Our encounter card Sinister Strike. Put 1 Pursuit Counter, which I forgot to take off. And then he's going to attack us. So it's going to be 3 4 again. Down to 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. At the start of our turn, we're going to choose to stun Collector because he's already confused. And then we're going to deal four damage here. One, two, three, four. Now, an, this is an attack. Weapons Master is an attack. And so we could, it would be five if we wanted to. Uh, just kind of fun. Nebula's low health can, yes, 100%. 100% agree with you there. Hmm. I don't love... Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what to do with the hand, right? Think fast is not playing. We could flip down. And if we flip down, then he'll lose the confuse. We can play on yielding persistence. Net two cards. Get Gamora onto the table. Give us their tough status card. And then we keep on yielding persistence because it's only when we start our turn in hero form. I, I'm thinking that that's probably the right route to go. And then we can use our tough status card against Collector, but then he's also stunned. I'm thinking we're flipping, yeah. Do we do anything before we flip? I don't think we do. We could punch Collector into Oblivion, but I don't think we do. I think we heal. So let's go ahead and flip over. We'll heal for three. One, two, three. Think fast. 
We'll play Unyielding Persistence, triggering our cybernetic upgrade to draw a Lay the Trap and a Wide Stance. Do we save Heroic Intuition? or I think we save Build Support. So let's go toss these three for a Gamora. Special will give a tough side of card here. And then Gamora we will use to thwart two off of the main. We get a double activation. We'll grab a build support. I think we still have one of our... Ev is it evasive maneuvering? Maybe two, actually. Yeah. So build support can be cleared, probably. So let's stand up. Build support. Strength. Genius. Cutthroat ambition. Cutthroat ambition was what I was talking about. Think fast. Nice. Okay. And a float like a butterfly. And there we go. Not too bad. We're going to go three here. Collector is confused. Our encounter card is a master plan, which means that we will discard cards until we get a side scheme. <laughs> there goes our two confused. Let's go. There we go. So the Monarch Egg comes in with five threats. When defeated, the player who defeated the scheme may ready their identity. Not too bad. <laughs> Not the <laughs> Hudarian Monarch Egg. No. It's funny. Okay. We are going to... I kind of want to... We may just toss build support. Like, it may not be anything that we need. I think I'd rather have the Think Fast than build support. So let's use build support to play Cutthroat Ambition. We'll draw two. Star-Lord in a one way or another. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to do it. Build support doesn't seem right here. That's kind of what I'm thinking. It's just a little slow. We're only netting a beat cop. I think, uh, I think I'd rather play a little bit faster cards. Like, one way or another. <laughs> uh, do we have Lethal Intense? We got one. We've got, we're probably going to draw into Lethal Intense, which means that we can probably take care of whatever side team we pull. We're going to play one way or another. While we're down here, we don't have anything else to do, so let's flip up and play one way or another. If you play one way or another, you're legally obligated to also play Star-Lord. Oh, is that true? We got Masters of Evil. Discard cards until Master of Evil minion is discarded. Magical Teapot heals four. Oh, yeah. I forgot that these are like great. Oh, those are the only two side schemes we have. Boo. Oh, that that's tough, actually. I guess we'll go Magic Teapot. So when defeated, the player defeated the scheme may heal four damage from their identity. 100% true or no sub. Kidding, probably. <laughs> I mean, what's the worst that could happen, right? What could go wrong, as Star-Lord would say? Um. Okay. We get to draw three cards. Lethal Intent, that's what we were talking about. Cutthroat Ambition, and then a Crisis Averted. Perfect. Will a crisis averted to play a cutthroat ambition? Let's go ahead and thwart the monarch egg. Down to three. We're going to play Genius to play Lethal Intent. We're going to trigger the two Cutthroat Ambitions to clear Monarch Egg, which will ready Nebula and take Magic Teapot down to two. So we can ready our identity, which we did. I just heard Thwart the Monarchy. <laughs> 
Hey Chad, hey Nelson, greetings from Argentina. Welcome, 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 welcome. We have to get float like a butterfly or else. No, no sub. I'm going to play float. I'm going to lose my tough to a freaking think fast. It's fine. Tough for the think fast. I hate it. But we're about to get one back. We have Gamora as a block. I think we'll be okay. Um, We'll go ahead and... Thwart here. Clear that. We'll heal the one damage. Woo! <laughs> Noted Republic. <laughs> and then we'll hit Collector for three. Maybe we won't. What happens when we move? We get the Milano. And it comes in with 11 out of 15. He will be confused. We could actually save Gamora then if we want. No, we want to get rid of Gamora. All right, let's hit Collector for three. I'm going to remove three threat from the main scheme. I'm going to flip this. Put the set aside Milano support into play. So we found the Milano. And this also, actually, this is this is the right call because now we have great targets for Cutthroat Ambition. Gamora, I'm sorry, Gamora attacked Collector, not thwarted. Gamora attacked Collector, taking Collector down, and then, uh, which removes three threat from the main scheme. Alrighty, so this comes in with 11. I think fast art is so goofy. I, it is good. <laughs> Rocket. <laughs> okay. Now we have the Milano. All right. We'll stand up. We got Rocket. Crisis Averted. Weapons Master. Think Fast. Combat Ready. So that's two, four, five. I'm going to add one here. Collector is stunned. So we don't actually need the block from Gamora. Could have done attack before playing Think Fast. Use Milano instead of Star. Oh, good call. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I realized that he was such he was so low on health. <laughs> I thought he had more health, honestly. The counter card is I have you now. You are stunned. And then he attacks me. Uh, we'll block with Gamora. So it's going to be two, three. Knocks out Gamora. Okay. At the start of my turn, we're going to give myself a tough status card. Then we're going to remove six threat from the main, taking us down to six. And, uh, yeah, collector flips. It comes in with 10 health. I like collector too. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to get rid of the stun. Status cards in uh, Nebula are not friends with our Force Interrupt. I am probably going to flip down considering I have a combat ready. A weapons master may hang on to the think fast, but I think that's what we're going to do. I think we're going to flip down to Nebula. We're going to use a combat ready to shuffle... Maybe it was a thwarting for plus one. I forgot about that. Oops. Um, I think we're going to shuffle in Weapons Master and Evasive Maneuvering. It's two, four. Yeah, okay. Shuffle those in. We will Milano for a Weapons Master, draw into an Eros, and a Beat Cop. OK. 
Okay. We drop a B cop here. I think we drop a B cop. And hang on to the think fast. We're going to toss the three for a B cop. We have a think fast in our hand, which is, we have another tough status card. So maybe we don't want to, maybe we don't want to throw all of the, the tough statuses into, uh, think fast. That, that probably does not seem super strategic. Drop the beat. <laughs> nice. All right. Let's stand up. We got think fast, evasive maneuvering. There's X. So we don't need to think fast then. That's nice. Weapons master. Lethal intent. Oh, Skilled Investigator, we get an encounter card. Ooh. Alrighty then. Character control attacks a confused enemy, increase the amount of damage that enemy deals. So Professor X can get an extra damage off of uh float. It's good to know. Alrighty. Let's go. So we're going to add one threat to the main. Collector is confused. And we got two encounter cards. The first one is exhaust and he's going to scheme. So it's going to be four, seven. And so that takes us to 13. Then Cloak of Hercules. Spend three physical resources to discard this card. He's now at a six, a seven attack. Professor X is not always an auto include, whether it's X Men or not. Yeah, he's 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 just, he's so good. X is so good. So that sucks. Um, cool. We'll use a Milano to play a Weapons Master. We'll draw two cards. Combat ready and a superpower training. Ooh. You know what? This is what we're going to do. We're going to do a think fast to play a superpower training just in case we hit the the three threat one. And then we're going to play combat ready. We're going to discard cards until we get a technique. White stance. Alrighty. Top three cards of the encounter deck. Discard one and put the others back in any order. Drawing near. Evil alliance. And a masters of mayhem. So Collector is going to We definitely don't want Evil Alliance as our encounter card. Drawing near is not the end of the world to get. Because we are we're flipping pretty much every single round regardless. And so drawing near being an alter ego, discarding an identity specific, I don't think it's going to be that hard. I think I'd rather have that than the masters. And so what we'll do... Oh, wait, no, we'll do this. Evil Alliance in the discard. Masters Mayhem being our boost guard, drawing near will be our counter card. Okay. I think I leaned a little bit too much into hoping that I got that superpower training. Because I can only play X now. And I need to play X. But then I lose my evasive maneuvering. I think that was a misplay. Because we don't get skilled investigator. We don't get a lethal intent. We could actually... No, I don't want to go lethal intent. Lethal intent would do. No, I'm just probably not worth it. Yeah, that's on me. That's a that's a misplay. We'll flip up to Nebula. We'll drop the entire hand to play X. We'll confuse Collector. X is going to thwart. Beat Cop is going to thwart for four off of here. So we're at thirteen. So we're gonna go to nine. And we got a block with X. Yeah, I'm not a I'm not the biggest fan of that, unfortunately. All right, stand up. We got oh, there's lethal intent. After we're gonna lose all of these, Star Lord, think fast. 
strength and a crisis averted. Two, four, five. All right. We're going to go to 10 here. Collector is going to attack. We'll block with Professor X. And then drawing near goes here. Our turn, we're going to discard a Cutthroat Ambition to add one here. I guess we can technically do this in any order because they're all forced responses. Uh, but we'll deal uh, 10 damage to Collector, which will flip Collector. And remove three, taking us down to seven. And then we will white stance. Inferiority complex, exhaustion, and the masters of evil. We are setting a encounter card, then a boost card in that order. And I think masters of evil. I don't love it. We can go inferiority complex and exhaust. I think we're going to get rid of exhaustion, inferiority complex as our encounter card. Okay. Well, we could Star Lord and give ourselves a face down encounter card. I don't want to do that. <laughs> um, I think we're going to flip down, use lethal intent to get rid of drawing near. Exhaustion is just a worse obligation, I guess. Yeah, because it's going to surge into something. Let's go Beat Cop to take Superpower Training down to two. We know Collector's not scheming, so we know the main is safe. So we're going to have Nebula take out Superpower Training. We're going to go get our ship. Oh, ship. Got Nebula ship. Okay. Alrighty. I guess getting the Masters of Evil, we're going to have a fairly souped up B-Cop by that point. Okay, we'll go Milano and Nebula ship and Starlord to play Crisis Averted to remove six threat from the main, taking it down to one. We will flip down to Alter Ego, discard a lethal intent to toss drawing near, and I don't want to use Think Fast for the confuse. <laughs> um, we have a Dazzler coming up. And we have a, we don't have an X. I'm going to hang on to the Think Fast just in case. So, stand up. Cutthroat Ambition. Nice, good. There's the Dazzler, sweet. Heroic Intuition. I don't know if we need her. And Gamora. Oof, that's good. I'm pretty happy with that. And we're also going to get some cards with Cutthroat, so... We'll go one here, confuse, inferiority complex. Um, we will exhaust and remove this from the game. All right. Let's use our Milano to play Cutthroat Ambition. Draw us into a Unyielding Persistence and a Crisis Averted. We've got a Beat Cop to take this down to one. Crisis Averted will play Unyielding Persistence. Got a Nebula Ship, Think Fast, and Strength will play Dazzler. That's going to confuse Collector, who should be flipped. Oh, he was already... <laughs> I never took his uh, health down from 10. Fuck up, Butterfly Challenge looking kind of rough. Maybe it's too difficult. Wow. Wow. Uh, 
Uh, and confused collector. Cloak of Hercules hurts, man. Yeah. As long as we're jump blocking or we have, uh, hey, thanks for the follow. Hope you're doing well. As long as we have chump blockers or um, toughs, I think we'll be fine. What's up? How you doing? Welcome. We'll go Dazzler for three. One, two, three. Uh, gonna be one here. We do want to take this attack because we want to lose the tough. We'll flip up to Nebula. Hmm. We hang on to Gamora. Do we have weapons masters? That's the question. Nope. Weapon masters are in the discard. Uh oh. I don't think we need Gamora or the heroic intuition, so we're gonna toss those. We're gonna stand up. We're gonna have a Masters of Evil for the Cutthroat Ambition. That's big. That's big, because I don't really want to push right now. That's cool. Okay. Alrighty. I'm going to say I planned that. Um, there's a lay the trap. Lethal intent. Think fast. One way or no. No, that's our last side scheme, unfortunately. And a crisis averted. Tough hand for us. Ow. Okay. Now add one here. Collector is going to attack. Oh, we set the boost card. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So it's going to be three, five... Or no, it's going to be two, four, seven, nine into the tough. Encounter card, nowhere safe. Place one pursuit counter on pursuit by the past. Then discard an upgrade or support you control. We will discard Cutthroat Ambition. Because then we don't have to push. That actually worked out kind of well. I was like, I don't want to push. That's the first time I've been happy to discard an upgrade or support, I think. <laughs> All right, sweet. Start of the turn. We're going to get rid of this and give us the tough. This is a tough hand. We don't even have the physical. We don't have one physical to combo with our wild generators to get rid of Hercules' cloak. <laughs> oh, all right. I guess we'll one way or another to play lay the trap. Or I guess at this point we'll play think fast. We'll play one way or another just to make sure I'm not missing one. Yeah. So we whiffed. That's fine. Dazzler will attack for three. One, two, three. Beat Cop. We'll take this down to one. Nebula will attack for three. One, two, three. Got a crisis. I think I think we're a lot. That is already yeah right, right. And like if we had the one if we had another side scheme in the deck, we would have been fine. But well, we did not. Okay, we'll stand up there. I think I think if I wasn't trying to go for the five damage, I probably would have thwarted that down and used the crisis averted on the next, but here we are. Nowhere. Combat ready. Wide stance. Arrows. Two, four, five. Got one here. Collector is going to attack us for a stupid amount. We're going to take it. Oh, there goes the poison. That's nice. All right, tough. Our counter card is impossible geometry. Insight one. You are confused. If you're already confused, choose and discard one card you control. All righty. Alrighty. Milano and Nebula's ship. We will play Eros. This 
This is not the turn that we can go five damage. I think next turn we will be able to. So let's... This is completely an efficient play. This is just me going for Villain Theory sub at this point. So let's flip down to Nebula. Although we do need another source of Confuse. That's the annoying part, isn't it? We have a Think Fast. Have we seen all those? We got one, two. I think we've seen them all then. Yeah, we've seen them all. Ah, crud. Um, oh, actually, before, we're going to just blurt, get rid of the Confuse. Um, hmm. Oh, we're just going to try it. Let's play combat ready. We're going to shuffle the two weapon masters back in. And we can just start cycling and potentially get... Oh, one more card. And potentially get... Yeah. Nowhere we'll play white stance. We'll draw into a genius and an energy. Jeez. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we'll toss one of those. How many cards are we drawing? We're drawing two, four, five cards. Or we have five cards in the deck. I don't think he's going to be confused, unfortunately. You know what? Actually, what I'm going to do is instead of the second weapons master, we're going to do the... Confuse one. Evasive maneuvering. Yeah. Ah, uh, so he's already picked the modular set. He thinks he's safe, does he? Oh, he's a Twitch sub to raise the... D <laughs> exactly, right? Oh, shoot. I just shuffled... Oh, no, I didn't. I'm shuffling my discard pile for some reason. Okay. So that's... That's going to be in there. Okay. So at that point, our lethal intent... And if we draw four, two, four, we're guaranteed to get one technique, which means that we'll get the other technique, which lethal intent can then trigger, which will then be one, two, three, four instances of damage. We're going to have to figure out one more. I think we still have an ally in there. I don't know. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. Okay. We got two. I'm going to leave everything but one card. Okay, we got a rocket. Sweet. Okay. Okay. We'll stand up. <laughs> we got one here. Confuse. Encounter card. You're confused if you're already confused. That's in set one. Okay. Okay. I never beat cop, did I? Oops. Okay. Milano will play Evasive Maneuvering. We'll draw into a Groot and Counter Card. Shuffle. We get one more card. Okay. And we've got a White Stance. We'll use a Nebula Ship to play a Weapons Master. He's about to be... Hmm. The problem here now is that he can only take one more damage. So all of this setup... I'm just going to... I'm going to count it as, as such. Because I don't actually think I can do five additional damage with Collector 1. Or Collector 2. Yeah. I actually don't know if it's possible, villain. He has infinite HP on side too, so it's fine. Okay. I that's how I'm gonna read it as well. How I'm gonna read the challenge that villain showed. Because you would have to have five instances of tax at one, which Nebula does not have. So I think Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm good with that. Okay, we will flip up to Nebula. Let's go genius to play a lethal intent. 
So we are going to confuse collector. You need nowhere for four allies. I think I'm fine. I think I'm going to be fine. Because there's that. Then evasive maneuver, or and then weapons master will push collector. There's one instance of extra damage. Two, three, four instances of <laughs> extra damage. <laughs> so inefficient. Um, then we will... We'll drop Groot, and Groot will be the fifth instance of damage there. No excuses, no loopholes. If you fail the challenge, you'll be forced to use a Twitch sub to a popular streamer who always has a million of dollars. Do not let me down. <laughs> well, I did five extra damage. I How about this? I dealt five extra damage using floats right there. It didn't take it, but I dealt it. Three cop will, I think at this point, take this down. We'll get us set up for probably a, a lethal turn next turn. We do have... When the round ends, Collector will be flipped back up. Okay, we're good. Let's stand up. <laughs> okay, now, now we can go for the throat. We got Gamora, Weapons Master, Star-Lord. Christ averted two, four, five. Let's see if I can play Star-Lord now. Do we think Nelson deserves a chat? <laughs> we got one there. Collector is going to attack for five. Let's block with arrows. Deal one damage to each hero. Two encounter cards. Sinister Strike. We're going to get Gamora. So Gamora comes in. When this minion would interplay, discard the Gamora ally. Three attacks and damages you. Choose and discard an upgrade you control. And we've got self-preservation. Nebula gets minus one, two, and then Gamora gets plus one in her attack scheme piercing. We're shuffling these cards into a deck of three. Requirement that Nelson gets five extra damage from float. He objectively did. There you go. Thanks, Leroy. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Next is uh obedience potion. Okay, so now we're at uh we're at we're at zero zero zero. Because of self-preservation and the obedience potion. That's kind of funny, actually. Nelson deserves the sub. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Alrighty. Round ends. Collector flips. We go back to 10. Woo! Chat has spoken. Thank you for the sub villain theory. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> oh, nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I think we want to shuffle the rest of the ship command just so we can dilute that a little bit. Um. Uh, oh yeah, we're doing this. Let's do. Um, evasive maneuvering. The stun collector. Weapon master does five damage. Down to five. And wide stance. Got lethal weapon. Melter. And I have you now. I think we can take Melter as an encounter card pretty easily. Attach to Gamora. You can discard an upgrade you control. Discard this attachment for plus one attack. That's not too, too bad, actually. But I'll take the two. Oh, no. It's going to be an encounter card. So Melter into Lethal Weapon. Oh, B-Cop can just take out Gamora. Kind of an interesting idea. Comes in with eight. Okay. So let's let's get a little creative here.
We're going to deal ourselves an encounter card to remove five blood. Flip the Library Labyrinth, place one Acceleration token on the main scheme. Shuffle the remaining cards from the set-aside ship encounter deck into the encounter deck. B-Cop taking out Gamora was not the dating scenario I expected. <laughs> yeah, right? Okay. We get a Acceleration token. The Library Labyrinth flips to Museum Ship. Hold on to your butts. After the villain phase begins, we choose to exhaust Milano to assign two damage among players or assign three damage among the players if we don't exhaust the Milano. So that's now there. We got the Acceleration token, and this starts with eight. We've got a basic thwart for the confuse. We've got Cypher, Gamora, and Weapons Master to play Crisis Averted to take this down to two. Then Milano and Nebula Ship will play Star Lord, dealing ourselves an encounter card. Star Lord will win us the game. Yeah, I got Star Lord into play. Granted, I did it where the encounter card did not matter, but I did it. <laughs> Star Lord, let's go. I also had a. I also could have done it without playing Star Lord by thwarting it with Groot and Beat Cop, but I feel like the Star Lord is the better way to do it. Yeah, the best way to do it. There you go, villain. Nice, excellent. Okay, so it is eleven twenty-three, meaning that we do have time for another game. I don't have another game set up, so. What I'm going to do is let's talk about who we want to see played. Is there any hero that I'm just going to start cleaning up as we have the chat? Is there any hero that we want to see played? I was thinking, like, I haven't played Spider in a while. Leroy Jenkins. Thank you for your the tier one gift. Awesome. Playing against Strife already. Alrighty. Ghost Spider against Strife. Ghost Spider is actually one that I haven't played in a while. I want to play Ghost Spider. Good call. Gifting for the Star Lord. Let's go. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I appreciate you. Thank you so very much. Yes. Awesome. Thanks. I like Ghost Spider. I have not played Ghost Spider in a hot second. And I I want to play Ghost Spider. Do we want to go against Strife? Want to go against Strife? I think Ghost Spider and Strife could be kind of fun. Kind of down with that. Nice. What aspect should we play with Ghost Spider? Um, I mean, protection is the fun one, right? I really like Strife. I like Strife too. I think Strife is pretty interesting. She confuses me, so it'd be awesome to see her being played. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Ghost Spider, full of her events, is going to be crazy with Strife counting card types. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It is. Um, hmm. It'll be fun. We could go we could go green. I don't even need to pick a tough one. <laughs> uh we could go green uh in like the perfect defense build. Although you kind of have to go go spider aggression is pretty fun. Maybe go aggression. Hmm. Alrighty. I'll uh, I'll think about that. I'm gonna go to the B right back, clean up a little bit. We'll come back and we'll have Ghost Spider against Strife and see how that goes. Alrighty, see you soon. We'll be right back.